What's going on guys, Ellie Morrow here. And this video is going to be about another way, easy way to get a Moab and MW3. But we're not doing infected this time. For those of you that think that want to try something new or think it may have been too easy, this is a different game mode. Okay, so this game mode is Money in the Dank. It is also a community playlist, just like Infected. And so the first strategy you want to do is at the very beginning of the game, you have like preset classes and you want to get the very last one out because the very last one is a shotgun class and it allows you to run the fastest. So you, you want to sprint full speed as fast as you can and get to the bomb in the center of the map because whenever you pick up the bomb in the center of the map you become a juggernaut and as you can see that's what I am right now so after you're the juggernaut you have to the, the objective of the game is to go plant the bomb and try to hold and try to defend it and if you plant it it blows up you can win the game but as you can see I'm not trying to plant the bomb I'm just sitting here just waiting to get kills and so if you want to get the Moab just be the juggernaut and just sit around and try to get kills. There's a few tips I have for you guys in this video. First of all, uh, never stop moving. The enemy team has, has flashbangs and they're going to throw them at you like crazy. If you sit in one spot, they're going to crowd you and you will get flashbanged and then they will, they will trap you and you will die. Next, so just never stop moving when you're, the, when you're the juggernaut. And the other second thing I want you to think about is to be patient. The, the full game is 10 minutes, and after the 10 minutes, there's an the overtime. So you have 10 minutes to get 24 kills if you get it at the beginning of the game. So don't rush anything, just be patient. And uh, what else What else should I tell you? Uh, I, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Use your teammates. You got to remember to always use your teammates because they're a really important part of this. Without your teammates, it's kind of almost impossible to get this thing on your own because mm, your teammates can your teammates can help you like all right, I'm sorry I'm not talking very good right now but what I was saying was that your your teammates can help you defend from defend the enemy pretty well D or defend yourself from the enemy pretty well as you can see I'm already on the specialist bonus Right here it's pretty action packed but isn't it, it, I think it starts getting a little boring because I'm just sitting around waiting for kills. So I'm gonna, um, I'm on like a 10 or 11 kill streak right here so I'm just gonna skip to all the good parts. Alrighty, you guys. So in a few seconds comes the Moab. I'm on a 20, 23 kill streak right now. There is my last man right there, and there is the Moab. And as you can see, there's two minutes left in the game. But what you want to do once you get the Moab in this mode is you want to wait till overtime. Let the clock expire. And the reason you want to do that is because in well, I got a nice double kill there. But because in overtime, the um, it is sudden death. So once you call in the Moab in overtime, it'll just kill all the enemies. It'll give you a free six kills and a free victory. And so yeah. I skipped through a lot of the parts because a lot of the parts I was just sitting there not doing anything. But just always remember to be patient. So here's overtime right here you guys. Call in the Moab. And we get a free victory because it's sudden death. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more great Call of Duty videos. And just so y'all know, I'm getting the Black Ops 3 beta. So I'll post some gameplay of that when it comes out August 26th for Xbox One. Peace!